In a world where weight is on the rise, especially over the past 50 years, one of the most common prescriptions given by a doctor is physical exercise. Regular physical activity contributes to the treatment of several chronic diseases that include, but are not limited to, pulmonary and cardiovascular diseases such as hypertension, metabolic disorders including type 2 diabetes and obesity, muscle, bone, and joint injuries such as rheumatoid arthritis and osteoporosis, cancer, and neuropsychiatric disorders. Scientists have found that the connections between these diseases and exercise could not only benefit one's weight loss, but could also impact one's epigenetic functions. Epigenetics has been defined and today is generally accepted as the study of changes in gene function that are mitotically and myotically irritable and that do not entail a change in DNA sequence. The epigenetic modifications that will be described are comprised of histone variants and methylation of promoters in CPG sites. One possible connection was found between the methylation of one CPG site in the PGC1A promoter and in the PGC1A RNA expression when following a workout regimen comprising of four weeks of retraining after nine days of bed rest. The results indicated a change in the skeletal muscle mRNA levels. This PGC1A gene has been linked to mitochondrial biogenesis, meaning that it controls the energy state and the contractile function of cardiac muscle. This is very important due to its relevance in battling cardiovascular diseases such as cardiomyopathy, heart failure, and arrhythmias. Another study has also shown that exercise causes histone modifications and changes in the microRNA expression. This regulator manages muscle fiber type, muscle regeneration, and muscle mass. Muscle fibers are com commonly classified as slow twitch type 1, which has high mitochondrial content, and fast twitch type 2, which has low mitochondrial content. As the endurance portion of the workout increases, there is an increase in slow twitch fibers. This increase is caused by histone modifications and has been demonstrated to lower the risk of obesity, type 2 diabetes, and several cardiovascular diseases. In a study done to observe epigenetic changes in leukocytes, cells that are implicated in the inflammatory repair process of damaged skeletal muscle, after eight weeks of resistance exercise training, it was discovered that at the end of the eight weeks, 57,384 CPG sites had been altered. About half had increased methylation and the other half had decreased methylation. Resistance exercise also altered CPG sites and a number of growth factors associated with anabolic signaling. This study as a whole showed that resistance exercise training makes one physically stronger as well as reprograms the leukocyte methylene to impact genome-wide gene expression. Therefore, it has demonstrated that resistance training can improve muscle repair, hypertrophy, and strength, as well as aid in the prevention of diseases such as cancer and diabetes, and it also leads to improved insulin sensitivity, glucose and blood pressure control, as well as reduced low-grade inflammation. The first graph compares a person resting to someone who has exercised for 20 minutes. Researchers were able to find that there was a decline in the methylated promoters shown in the first graph. They then went on to study the specific promoters in which they noticed that there was a decrease in the DNA methylation of the promoters of metabolic genes in those people who exercised for only a short 20 minutes. Another important implication of the epigenetics effects of exercise involves lowering the risk of contracting cancer. This idea stems from the general association of cancerous cells with increased methylation, also called hypermethylation, of tumor suppressor genes. Several studies have investigated the association between physical activity and methylation status. One study found that methylation of the gene associated with a calcium channel often methylated in gastric cancer was higher in patients with no exercises than those who did at least one hour of physical activity a week. The idea that one hour of physical activity a week can lower your chances of certain cancers is mind-boggling. No wonder more and more doctors are encouraging exercise before prescribing drugs. New research aimed at tracing adipose tissue has taken a close look at the worldwide obesity epidemic. Scientists at Lund University conducted a study and found that global DNA methylation changed after six months of exercise intervention, especially in the promoter region and in the ITPR2 gene, which had previously been associated with hip to waist ratio. Differential mRNA expression during exercise, that is, gene expression that responds to signals or triggers coming from CPG sites, was present in one-third of gene regions, including RALBP associated with breast cancer, HDAC4 associated with vision and bone and muscle development, and NCOR2, a gene region responsible for repressing the thyroid. 
Results showed in total 18 obesity and 21 candidate genes had one or more CPG sites, which were significantly changed in adipose tissue DNA methylation after the exercise intervention, including a gene known to be linked to obesity inheritance from parents and a gene known to increase the risk of contracting obesity over time. These results suggest that there is an epigenetic effect of long-term exercise programs on lowering the rate of obesity in adults. In another study, researchers at Karolinska University in Sweden have found that exercise increases the mRNA expression and protein levels of many genes that are essential to regulating mitochondrial function and fuel usage, crucial to a cell's overall function. Even when it seems like there's no time between homework and classes, there's always at least 20 minutes to get a good workout and an exercise. Your body and your future depend on it.